कंपटीशन और वेरिएशन के बाद द थर्ड पॉस्टुलेट ऑफ थ्योरी ऑफ नेचुरल सिलेक्शन इज सर्वाइवल ऑफ द फिटेस्ट सो डाविन ही ऑब्जर्व के वेन द रिसोर्सेज दे आर लिमिटेड इन एनी एनवायरमेंट सो देर वुड बी एग्जिस्टेंस एंड एग्जिस्टेंस वुड बी अ कॉन्स्टेंट एंड द कंटिन्यूस स्ट्रगल सो ऑल द इंडिविजुअल्स प्रेजेंट इन वन इको सिस्टम इन वन एनवायरमेंट दे आर इन कंटिन्यूस स्ट्रगल टू सर्वाइव और जैसे जैसे पॉपुलेशन का साइज ग्रोथ होती चली जाती है पॉपुलेशन साइज इंक्रीज करता चला जाता है मोर प्रेशर ऑन रिसोर्सेज रिसोर्सेज आर कंज्यूम्ड बाय द पॉपुलेशन एंड देन देर वुड बी अ टफ कंपटीशन टू सर्वाइव एंड दोज इंडिविजुअल्स विच मे डाई इन दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ कंपटीशन इन दिस स्ट्रगल फॉर सर्वाइवल दीज आर दोज इंडिविजुअल्स जिनको डाविन जो था उसने ही प्रपोज ही रीजेंट एंड ही प्रपोज दैट ये वो इंडिविजुअल्स हैं जो कि एलिमिनेट हो जाती हैं फ्रॉम एनी पॉपुलेशन बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव गुड वेरिएशन दे डोंट हैव स्ट्रॉगर वेरिएशन टू सर्वाइव इन दैट टफ कंपेटेटिव एनवायरमेंट सो वट ही प्रपोज दैट थ्रू द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन देर वुड बी न्यू वेरिएशन इन सेम ट्रेड्स अमंग द इंडिविजुअल्स ऑफ सेम स्पीशी Uh, and these those individuals which have uh, the better traits and they are strong enough to survive in a highly competitive environment they will reproduce they will survive and they will reach the age of adulthood to reproduce further so there are more chances for uh, those individuals having uh, better and stronger variations to survive lekin wo individuals jin mein itni strong or good variations nahi hai they are not able to survive in tough environment or they don't have ability to adapt themselves in the new environment they will be eliminated by nature so he said this is a survival of the fittest so the fittest would survive but the weak will be eliminated and this is called as natural selection because nature is selecting those good variations those individuals which are more able and stronger to survive in the changed environment but those who can't adapt themselves who can't fight and compete they will be eliminated by eliminated by the nature that was natural selection fourth postulate of darwin's theory was the transfer of these acquired characters or these adaptive traits to the next generation so once these adaptive traits uh, they are acquired through the process of reproduction which we now we know this is because of the process of meiosis uh, mutations crossing over these adaptive traits are perpetuated in subsequent generations um but those organisms which are not very well adapted or they are mal adaptive these individuals are less likely to reproduce and survive so the populations with the mal adaptive traits they would be less frequent in population and eventually they will be eliminated by the process of natural selection so the change in environment uh, mostly they could be in the form of climate the temperature changes uh, weather changes uh, availability of food availability of water and then there are other stressors for example predators there could be a parasite could be disease Uh, there are many other stressors which are um, making situation difficult for those species present in that habitat and it could lead to the extinction of uh, those individuals which are ill adapted species but at the same time that was a theory of uh, natural selection and it was supported by uh, the other contemporary evolutionist other contemporary naturalist so uh, alfred russel wallace he was uh, also a core discoverer of theory of natural selection jaise darwin ne apne uh, hms beagle ke voyage mein different collections ki or uh, different observations ki at the same time alfred russel wallace was also working in amazon and malay archipelago and he also proposed the same two points jinko ke darwin ne propose kiya tha and the one was the competition that there is uh, population pressure on the resources so there will be competition between individual he also proposed uh, the concept of uh, variations jaise ki darwin ne propose kiya ke uh, with the passage of the time jab ek environment change ho raha hai there would be variations in response to these environmental changes but at same time uh, jahan par ke alfred russel wallace ki theory is uh, similar to darwin's theory but it has certain differences as well 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल अल्फर्ड रसल वॉलेस ही प्रपोज के हर वो अडेप्टेशन जो किसी भी ट्रेड में अपीयर होती है इन नेक्स्ट जनरेशन दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ सर्टन चेंज इन द एनवायरमेंट सो ही सेट दैट अडेप्टिव रेडिएशन आर ऑलवेज रिजल्ट ऑफ चेंजेस इन एनवायरमेंट बट डाविन ही प्रपोज के हर वो चेंज या हर अडेप्टिव रेडिएशन जो किसी भी नेक्स्ट जनरेशन में अपीयर हो रही है और वी कैन से द वेरिएशन विच आर कमिंग इन अपेयरिंग इन द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन ये जरूरी नहीं है कि उसका ड्राइविंग फोर्स कोई एनवायरमेंटल चेंज है जिसके रिजल्ट में उस इंडिविजुअल को अपने जेनेटिक मेकअप में कुछ चेंजेस लाने पड़े सो दैट इज द थ्यूरी विच इज मोर क्लोजर टू द मॉडर्न इन्फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज नाउ वी नो कि किसी नेक्स्ट ऑफ स्प्रिंग नेक्स्ट जनरेशन में नेक्स्ट प्रोजनी में जो भी चेंजेस आ रहे हैं विच आर नॉट सिमिलर टू विच आर नॉट एग्जैक्टली लाइक देयर पेरेंट्स Uh, it could be because of mutation it could be because of uh, crossing over not necessarily every time ke environmental stress environmental change hi is tarah ke changes ko lane ke bias banega so that was a uh, theory of natural selection which changed uh, the that uh, study of evolution and it is still considered as the foundation of evolution